Can anybody guess fractal dimension of this thing? <laughs> For reward, I will tell you the exact value after the presentation. <laughs> 1.5. Uh, 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. I think you are actually very close. <laughs> I think you are close. <laughs> okay, it's better than mine. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, welcome PCS members and friends to our today's PCS IBS uh, seminar. It is a great pleasure to have with us today Dr. Marko Čosic from uh, Vinča Institute of Nuclear Sciences uh, from Serbia. And um, I will uh, be the also take uh, the role of the scientific host. So let me introduce our speaker briefly. Uh, so uh, Dr. Marko Čosic uh, uh, studied uh, in um, School of Electrical Engineering in Belgrade University and defended his uh, PhD thesis in 2014. And uh, since 2010, uh, he works as a researcher at the Laboratory of Physics at Vincha Institute of Nuclear Sciences. And uh, he's the group leader and principal investigator of complex and catastrophic phenomena in physics and biology. And uh, today he will tell us about uh, the quantum carpets in a leaky box uh, on Poincaré's recurrences in the continuous spectrum. So let us uh, welcome our speaker. Well, thank you very much. And I am very glad to be here. Uh, and I will speak about our latest uh, uh, result and investigation, which are, uh, uh, sorry, which are the most easily described as analysis of uh, patterns and the laws governing the changes of these patterns. And in that regard, quantum carpet is one very special pattern occurring in nature, but you will hear more about it uh, later. So, this is a brief overview of. Uh, talk. Uh, since it's my first time here, I will just uh, briefly uh, tell you about our uh, scientific activity in our institute and uh, in very few words uh, how this line of development has developed over time. Actually, we are the latest branch of this tree of research starting back in the 50s. Um, then we will discuss quantum carpets and in sealed boxes. We will hear what, uh, what, uh, immediately what that means. And then we will relax uh, conditions a little bit. We will discuss what happens uh, in continuous uh, case of continuous spectra. Uh, in essence, when this box has uh, leaky walls, it means that it's, it's at finite height, so quantum particle can tunnel out of it, and uh, uh, we are doing this in order to understand something practical uh, that would be a uh, quantum carpet which can form inside the uh, nanotubes. So this problem is actually uh, rather complicated and first two of, uh, parts of the talk will be uh, to be able to understand uh, and interpret correctly uh, quantum carpet occurring inside nanotubes. So why are we uh, discussing such things well because there are many many potential applications of uh, nanotubes and one of them is for use of guidings of ion beams uh, positron beams in the same way as it is done in optics with uh, optical fibers so let's begin okay uh, here you can see a map of serbia to locate it in your mental map so to help you a little bit here is macedonia here is bulgaria here is Romania, Hungary is here, and now former Yugoslavia, Croatia, Bosnia, Montenegro, and here is a play of Albania. Sorry. And Belgrade is in Belgrade is in the centrum of the country, and very close to the centrum of the Belgrade, there is uh, uh, institute uh, laboratory, sorry, Winch Institute of Nuclear Sciences. Well, it was established, it is it is interesting, uh, back uh, early. Uh, late 40s, why I'm pressing all this the wrong uh, By Pale Savic, uh, who was very close collaborator 
Joliot Curie, and after the war, he was sent in the Soviet Union to specialize under the scientific guidance of Piotr Kapitza. And what is really interesting is that Otto Hahn cited paper, uh, experimental paper of Curie and Savage, and he correctly interpreted it as a radioactive uh, decay. So, very smart guy, top class guys, and this is you know, how um, um, institute looks like. Uh, from the air and laboratory of physics is situated uh, here. So uh, just brief uh, uh, history. Um, nuclear Institute was founded to develop uh, Yugoslav uh, nuclear project. And um, today it is multidisciplinary institute, not uh, dealing only with uh, pure nuclear uh, uh, physics and technology, but it's multidisciplinary approach. And we we uh, are using ion beams for analysis of material for modification material. So in a broader sense, we are still a member of nuclear uh, technologies, science and technologies. Uh, so how this line of research uh, began, our fascination with the shape. Um, back in the 80s, uh, founder of our uh, Group is now retired, but he's still scientifically active. Nebuchadnezzar Netkovich went, went to Oak Ridge for postdoc, and then he uh, studied channeling. And channeling uh, is special way in transmission through material. So basically, if you have a very fine uh, ion beam and you shoot in direction parallel to the symmetry axis of your material, for instance, thin crystal or nanotubes in this case, uh, you will see that uh, potential of Solid is able to capture the beam and to gently guide it. So it's not like in all way, all times when you were analyzing transmission to material and you were uh, faced with a large energy scattering and there, as a rule and you have energy loss, etc. Uh, all those things are minimized here and uh, it can happen something uh, which is very similar uh, to rainbow effect in optics. So you will find certain uh, lines along which angular yield of transmitted particles is large. And in this uh, example, you can see example of the rainbow line, the first uh, one calculated and prediction of something which call now, we call now crystal rainbow effect. And this is actually experimental, first experimental confirmation done in Oak Ridge. There is very interesting story how this uh, happened. Uh, I will tell you another uh, uh, occasion. Uh, we now have much, much uh, precise and better measurements. I show this as uh, curiosity. But what is interesting in general, uh, if you are considering uh, thin crystals uh, and you analyze what your trajectory is, what your ions are doing, so this collective is uh, uh, suffi sufficiently complicated. So it's not, not simple that they have oscillatory trajectory like in case of pendulum. You know, everybody oscillates with the same frequency and nothing special. It's, it's tricky. But uh, system uh, evolves uh, and in such a way that uh, statistical equilibrium is never reached. So you cannot analyze this as in the old days when you are analyzing the pressure to the thick uh, samples using uh, statistical mechanics. And this is somewhere in between. This is what makes it interesting and all these effects are possible. Um, and uh, we developed this approach uh, uh, further and latest what we try to do to apply same logic and to analyze uh, rainbow lines which generally uh, very well defined your shape of your experimental distribution you can see here what is interesting in this case why this was actually uh, put on, on the wall of uh, famous uh, american uh, physicist uh, uh, well, nuts. He, he put this measurement on his wall. Why? Because standard theory of that time predicted that this should be Gaussian circle. Why? Because in case of thick crystals, your trajectory is randomize and it can be proven and it's easy to guess why it is because of low large numbers. What we will measure in transmission is something Gaussian like distribution. And what this clearly shows, nothing like those. 
And this theory, which can calculate this line, is extremely simple. But you see, it effectively captures what happens in experiment. So this is what makes this approach very useful. And if you, if you compare what you neglect here to calculate this rainbow, you're surprised that it works at all. But it works perfectly. And on other occasion, I can, uh, I can tell more about uh, uh, rainbow, crystal rainbow effect, and we have now much, much more detail and precise Could measures. You say a few words, what do you call a rainbow here? Rainbow effect is uh, uh, simplest explained in this way. So imagine that you have uh, trajectories uh, and you start with different impact parameter, different starting position, but at the end, you can have many trajectories everything at the same. End. So uh, this creates Jacobian of, trans uh, of transformation from starting position to the exiting angle single. And uh, since the practical protection is inversely proportional to determine the digital code, you will see that along this line, these singular lines, uh, angular yield is index. And actually, this happens in case of meteorological. So in simple terms, you will see, you, you will notice accumulation of exiting rays in specific direction, which happens also in the case of meteorological rays. So well, is it possible to understand that your blue line is just the beginning and the red line is where you go now? No, no, no. This is at the exit. This is at the end. exit. Which way is exit? Uh, exit of the crypto. This is the detector plane. Okay. This is angular uh, space. So coordinate distribution very far from. So maybe it will be easier if I uh, draw it closer. So this is a droplet of water. So you. Uh, Irradiate it with parallel beam, and then it will bounce up and go outside. This will do similar. See, but we will go like this. And when you are close to this spectral ray, a lot of rays will accumulate in this region. And for instance, for this ray here, he will go somewhere. And if you plot here, the impact parameter and here, exiting angle, you will see something like this. It has a maximum. Can you see? Maybe I should pull it. You see? And what you observe that there are uh, different rays will, will come very close. You see, this when you calculate now. Uh, yield, angular yield in a tetra space. So this is the number of detected particles. You see, you will have something and a large peak here and then it will go, okay, we don't have weights in this region, so it will go down. Uh, this is a uh, rainbow peak. And the same, same logic happens inside the crystal, but it is more complicated because it's two-dimensional. But a logical the same. Okay, but what are the lines? What do they show? The, on, the, on the right, on the B, the big figures. What, no, on the B, B figure. The, what, what are the different lines here? What do they show? The lines are uh, equi uh, count uh, lines. Okay. So uh, this result is just historical curiosity. Uh, I can show you much, much better where, where you can clearly see these cusps. Okay, here on measure, but we need uh, results of Mark Breeze, which were measured only uh, in 2012. And he uh, it took two years for him to prepare this experiment. But this is topic for uh, different uh, different lectures. Okay, uh, this was done uh, and done and redone many times. So after some point, you need to think about something else. So we considered okay similar. Uh, thing, but uh, transmission to uh, nanotube in channel mode. So basically, your positron or proton will come inside, and if the initial beam is directly parallel to the axis of the nanotube, so he will be gently steered inside and he will channel inside. And classical analysis was done, and the next idea was be because of uh, various uh, application of positrons to consider transmission of positrons, which are quantum or same quantum corrections are necessary. And the uh, idea is to guide 
positron beam. So we will try to analyze what happens in case of long uh, time dynamics. So how potential of nanotube looks like? Well, this is it is given by the uh, black uh, curve. You can see it here, but it's rather difficult uh, to understand immediately. Uh, and I calculated it, but it turns out that the results are too complicated. So to understand it better, I made two uh, sim simplifying assumptions. So I model it because you see the potential here is rather large, uh, 80 electron volts. So uh, I model it as infinitely uh, large, infinitely uh, deep well. And another more realistic approach to see what, is, what are effects of tunneling, I model it with the two direct uh, uh, peaks here. So the first approximation uh, is uh, what I call closed box model uh, of transmission to the tube. Uh, second is, sorry, second would be uh, leaky box. And at the end, I will show you how uh, solution of full problem looks like when we consider the potential given by this plan. So uh, I have analyzed two extreme cases. You need to have uh, particle channeling, particle need to be confined in this potential to be able to channel at all. So I analyzed two extreme cases, both call our, uh, uh, two initial wave packets, which are just barely captured by potential. So when you calculate, uh, when you calculate uh, uh, initial, kinetic energy of this uh, uh, very, very narrow packet here, its energy is uh, just barely below the barrier. But if you consider wider packet than this one, then a larger part of probability density is actually located outside of the nanotube density. So in that regard, those are two uh, ex uh, extreme cases of uh, wave packet which can be channeled or captured by by this potential. So how quantum carpets look like in the seal box and what are there? Well, actually, you just uh, take infinite uh, box, seal box, and in this case, you know how um, eigenvalues looks like. So you do standard thing in quantum mechanics, you expand arbitrary state into this basis, you get some expansion coefficients, then you plug here uh, uh, energies, well, they are just rescale to, in case of channeling, it is more convenient to parameterize this with the length of them, than the time, but uh, think of that as equivalent to time, so nothing, and constantly pressing the uh, and you get this intricate pattern in the case of the narrow wave packet, initial wave packet, which is located first here, as you saw previously, and this one in case of the wider, remarkable. So you, at the beginning, you see that this wave packet spreads <coughs> as this is caused by wave uh, dispersion effect, something normal, but at a certain points, you see it reconfigures back. And this is from what is called a wave revival. And it repeats almost perfectly, and in, in, uh, in this case, absolutely perfectly, at the uh, time, which is called revival time. So how to understand this? Well, it's, it turns out it's not too, too uh, difficult. Why? Because energies, uh, in this case, have pure quadratic dependence uh, on quantum number. And actually, when you recalculate everything, this term here has only uh, one ratio uh, uh, real number here, lambda r, which is revival length, and everything else is the jump integer. So you can immediately see when z coordinate is multiple of revival length, then all this. Uh, Phase factors will be synchronized and they will give uh, two part. So in, in case when, when it's half, then you will get uh, part. And when you 
uh, sun, this uh, expansion, what you get? When you get the initial state, because all it have minus one, you see? And this explains why you have a revival here, reconstruction here, corresponding to half. And the second one uh, corresponds to, to Z equal to lamp, because then all states have additional files equal to one. It's some kind of synchronization, which happens. So uh, how to explain this structure inside here? You see this kind of canals and bridges and separate. They're a very beautiful theory how to do it, but uh, what is interesting that it's very uh, it's very easy to explain if you know properties of Gaussian sum. If you see this experiment and you examine it, uh, ask someone particular, he will tell you immediately that this is uh, Gaussian sum type of Gaussian sum. And all those structures uh, can be explained by properties um, of Gaussian sum. So what happens, for instance, here, when you have two reconstructed copies, and these uh, two reconstructed copies happens when Z equal to the uh, revival length quarter. So what happens uh, for rational uh, uh, multiples of Revival length. So this sum splits into uh, five uh, into uh, let's uh, maybe easier to write. So uh, if Z is revival length, this sum, which is infinite, can be then grouped into a, a Q. Uh, health from, from technical reasons, terms, uh, groups, which are synchronized among themselves, but they are phase shifted, with, there is a phase shift between them. And uh, uh, when you sum them together, uh, you will see that they reconstruct uh, two copies in this particular case of initial wave. So they will reconstruct uh, uh, Q copies of. I question, is there any boundary condition? Here, uh, here there is no uh, special. You have, what do you mean by boundary condition? Well, the, the, the solution has a both an even and other solutions, but yes. depend on the boundary condition, some preferred or even. Uh, no, 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 look, uh, this, this is the excellent question, uh, but look, core of the arguments comes from here. And not from here. Not from here. If you use, if you use, um, uh, look, go through the derivation, you you will see that you always analyze additional phase coming from this term here, and standard theory actually neglects this. And uh, this is uh, something which is called uh, quantum carpet. There are many instances when this is measured. So in, in a sense, what they, uh, when they observe uh, quantum revival effects, if you have heard about it, uh, uh, they, they excite highly, but only few states. And then uh, they say we have only a low number of these states, and everything comes from this quadratic dependence of energies. And in arbitrary case, simple theory tells you, uh, simple theory tells you that when you expand your weight, uh, your, your uh, energies as a function of quantum number, and you just uh, you just uh, retain quadratic and linear coefficients, it becomes it behaves essentially the same. So simple theory tells you uh, that you should always see this part. Always see this part. And uh, influence of this is uh, negligible. So this was the first uh, attempt to explain uh, uh, quantum carpets. But what happens? All the these conditions are real, so you don't write something like this. No, no. You uh, no, these other phases. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, actually, I, I I don't remember that I have checked. But in principle, uh, in this case, in infinite, but you will get always something like this. 
uh, I will not come in a minute in some different or uh, significantly different possibilities. Uh, this is what I just wanted to explain. Uh, no, 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 sorry, 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 you will get it, you will get it, yeah. Uh, complex, complex C effect on the transfer in initial velocity. And initial, I checked initial velocity. So you can have initial velocity, then uh, you have the same pattern, but just you start not from this point here, but uh, somewhere here. Sorry, sorry, it's somewhere here, like initially you move. So it looks when, when you observe it in long scale like this, because uh, revival lengths are uh, long, it looks like this pattern would just shift. There's no effect of the response, for instance, if you start to reflect particles. Uh, in this simple model, no. No, this simple model. This is just simple motion in infinite potential. Uh, you are speaking about more detail. Uh, this is, uh, this is different. Breaking channel no, no, this is, this is different. This is not uh, uh, okay. This is relevant for through transmission to the network. But uh, in channeling, uh, you are always going with a sufficiently high energy so that you're only performing small end scattering, and all those uh, spoiling effects are minimized. Energy loss, uh, fluctuational scattering angle with electron clouds, etc., are minimized because. But we will get it. It's an excellent question. So uh, you need a genius to to guess that this picture was not complete. And this genius, you can guess who it is. It was Michael Berry. So he was very quick to to realize that this is not the whole picture and uh, see a fan coefficient can play a significant role when when your initial wave package is such that uh, it has uh, uh, sing um, singularity, not singularity, but it, uh, it is not differentiable at the borders. So in case of the wide wave packet, in this case here, uh, initial wave function, which is captured by the nanotube, looks zero, but some value of this goes in and then Exactly of the zero. And this non differentiability, believe it or not, produces practice. This, this uh, uh, pattern can anybody guess fractal diversion? Seven quarters. It is in, in this direction, seven quarters, and very calculated in, in arbitrary, in the yearly procedure to calculate for arbitrary cross section. Arbitrary cross section will be uh, fractal. So, but what is interesting, periodicity, peri period of this structure is exactly determined uh, by this uh, perfect kinetic. So, in, in effect, this makes it uh, to be, allow it to be fractal, but period and repetition of the structure is determined only by the synchronization of this. Of this factor so, so what is uh, by the period of the lower big chain? Yes, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you are excellent audience. So don't sleep. This is what I wanted to say. If you have a uh, symmetrical wave packet, like in this case here, this wave packet situates in, in, in the centrum of the uh, nano, of the potential one. So when you expand it, you have only even state, no odd states. So what happens here? Uh, you should substitute here and with the two case only. Four. So what happens? Two goes outside, it comes four, but when you it effectively divides r by four, and you can observe here four repetitions of this pattern with four the same. So one, one, two. Why it's not working? Yeah, it's here. One, two, three, four. Exactly as you notice. And for us, reconstruction, which corresponds to synchronization of this uh, additional phase factor to be only pi, is here. But it is easy to understand. And again, this can also be explained only by this. 
and you use this uh, uh, Gaussian uh, Gauss identity, he uh, was very proud uh, of proving he, this is theorem which he proved, I think, most of any of his proofs. He was very proud of it. Uh, it is related uh, to how you can uh, get uh, uh, what it, uh, uh, you multiply two numbers uh, and you uh, guess period of it repetition modulus of some other number, something to be like uh, number theory. So this was actually known. This was this was measured, and this was the starting point of my analysis. I actually expected to see something similar in case of it, but. Because the system is uh, very complicated, what I try to do next, we will be able to understand properly the result. I will show you in a minute. Uh, uh, I examine closely what happens close to the revival uh, lengths. So uh, here, when you have uh, exact first reconstruction wave packet, it happens for the revival length half, and in this case here. Uh, this corresponds uh, to the one third, and you can immediately see in this correct section three peaks one, two, three. When you go here, you can see uh, from technical reasons all even uh, fractional uh, revivals have half than expected uh, reconstructed patterns. Because of this, is four. One quarter, that means you should have two um, re reconstructed peaks. Uh, when you see the derivation, it is um, logical, but it is absolutely mind blowing when you see it for the first time. It seems totally irregular and totally arbitrary. And this is the reason why people suggest to use quantum carpets for encoding information. So imagine that information that you want to send is encoded in position of this. You say, okay, you measure this specific precision, and this, if it is here, then it is number one, here it is number two, etc. And you let it propagate, and anybody who inter, inter, uh, intervene and try to interpret this information, if he doesn't know where to measure it, where it will be reconstructed, he will get this, and you say, okay, do your best, try to then decode this information. You know, I encode it with physics, and he will probably gain on. And if you know where to measure, wave packet will be reconstructed perfectly. Uh, and actually, there is a more advanced uh, version of this, which relies on uh, cubic Gaussian sums. They are related to elliptical functions in nine criteria. They are so complicated that they can uh, uh, be even difficult to crack this code in uh, quantum using quantum computer because quantum computer can break easily uh, this uh, public key encryption which relies on the assumption that it's difficult to factor number in prime uh, arbitrary number in prime factor so let's return to, to physics uh, here uh, we have one fifth and in case of odd revivals uh, you should have uh, exact number of peaks. So here you have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, those are equivalent, equivalent length, but this has a quarter period. So here you have one, then you have three, as you expect, but here you have one because this is the period. And in case of one fifth, well, you observe fifth, fifth this diamond patterns. So this diamond patterns actually pattern with repeats itself. And creates uh, a So, scale down version of this pattern will appear always. Let's see, this is another one, two, three, four, and etc. You can find various uh, other uh, other examples. Uh, so, what is interesting here? Uh, so, close to, for instance, this fractional fractional revival corresponding to one third of repetition length. You have other fractional revivals respond to some other uh, fraction, and so on. But this is important observation. It is better, maybe better to see it here. See, close to it, you have many other fractional revivals corresponding to different uh, uh, rational number close to one fifth. So this 
So we can now proceed. Uh, now to understand what happens in case of nanotube, well, let's first consider uh, what happens when your box is not sealed. So part of the uh, part of the current probability current can escape out, and would it destroy the pattern? And actually, what you are now analyzing instead of expansion in in uh, eigenbases, you now have continuous states. So this complicates way too bit, but fortunately, uh, if you model a potential like this, so basically this represents now nanotube, uh, and uh, you allow to vary amplitude of uh, potentials. Uh, this uh, system can be solved for uh, direct particle, uh, direct initial state uh, located in the center. So it's representative of this very narrow thing. Uh, you can solve numerically other cases, but it become uh, analytic and practical. Oh, sorry, why is it a leaky box? It's uh, two walls with delta functions. Yeah, but probably uh, there is a probability. Uh, because they are narrow. narrow. Yeah, 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 because they're less. Zero. Yeah. Like, probability is zero for infinite. Uh, uh, so, sorry, uh, potential is infinite. Uh, um, in previous case, potential was infinite for x smaller than r and infinite for x larger than r. So it was, uh, okay, I didn't explain it. it, was like this previously. And now it is on the on this. Okay. Uh, can yeah. I ask a simple question? Yes, please. Yeah, in the previous case, it seems to be uh, there is no leaky, I mean the sealed box case. Yes. No, yes. No, yeah. No, in the case, what's the, what's the synchronization in that kind of system? Well, uh, that one that I explained already. It's all concerned this yeah. case. I have not uh, uh, talk, said anything about uh, uh, leaky box case. Yeah, uh, my question is, I, I didn't understand what's the meaning of synchronization here. Synchronization is an uh, effect which uh, explains why you have multiple copies of initial wave uh, For instance, at this cross section. Can you see this? You have one peak, second peak, and third peak. And when you plot this cross section, they look like exactly as initial wave back, just repeated three times. It is called fractal revival effect. And uh, it happens because when you divide by three, you have modulus zero, one, and two. And when you group all uh, phases according to the modulus, then you can get three groups uh, with a different uh, phase, additional phase shift of, among these groups which correspond to this uh, uh, P. Yeah, so it is depending is it one third or two thirds. But in all cases, you have uh, groupings into uh, classes according to the uh, according to the value of modulus. And uh, this means that all phase in the same group has the same phase. And this allows them to reconstruct the original data. Otherwise, you cannot, you have uh, arbitrary case, which is uh, almost uni on, almost uniform wave function without any without any observable structure for arbitrarily uh, nanotube techniques. But in the case of these special values corresponding to the uh, fractional multiple of revival length, then you have this synchronization happening, and this creates so-called fractional revival effects. I hope I, I explained it better. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, this is the most boring slide on this presentation, so I will just zoom truly. So what we want to see, how tunneling affects uh, uh, our uh, carpet. And I chose to, solve, to do uh, 
an optical solvable case, and this is this one. And fortunately, we have propagator for this case. We can solve anything and uh, what we want while wave function is given by this uh, inverse Laplace transform, where uh, integrating uh, Laplace transform is given by this uh, uh, expression. So uh, this expression is complicated to uh, neglect uh, uh, everything, but what you should note is that you have square roots of complex numbers. When you have square roots, you have you need to be very careful uh, which branch cut you choose. And it turns out that this is important and very, in my opinion, very nice result. So if you plot this function, it's zero cross section. On the first sheet, you have this picture here. On one branch cut and maxima and minima alone. If you plot it on a second branch, you get something which you would expect from the theory. You have series of poles. And uh, when you integrate this, this the, in using complex analysis, uh, this integral then reduces to the sum of residues, and those are actually resonances. This is a standard approach. But standard approach has a drawback that you should choose. Would you like to have spatially convergent resonances or time convergent resonance? You cannot have both. But it turns out if you use value of this function on the first sheet, you will get something like this uh, without no, no resonance at all. And what you achieve, you get integral representation of your wave function coming only as a uh, as a con contribution for the branch. This is a little bit technical. Okay, so say I don't care if my resonance diverge in x equal to infinity because I'm interested in wave uh, uh, carpet, which is generated only by part of the wave function, which is captured inside. Well, uh, interesting and very nice result, in my opinion, that resonant expansion done in final way converge very slow. But this integral representation converges very quickly. And this is very beautiful, uh, beautiful result. And this is how quantum carpets in leaky box look like. So uh, we see that uh, uh, tunneling, quantum tunneling deteriorates uh, pattern. Well, that depends how strong tunneling is. You see various uh, choices of initial uh, height of the potential, but overall structure is unaffected by tunneling itself. You see, uh, I hope that you can see the structure of all those three carpets are essentially the same. Uh, this one is the sharpest because in this case, uh, tunneling is very slow, so you can resolve many smaller fractional revivals. And here it is like filter image, but overall pattern is the same. And period, period there is very slight uh, change in the periodicity, which I, I don't think it is easy to notice at all. Uh, maybe this, uh, this, you can see that this uh, revival length time is a little bit larger than this one here, which is a little bit larger than this. But, uh, what is conclusion? Conclusion is that the structure is more preserved than it is of course spoiled by uh, by tunneling, but essentially it is the same. So we, uh, with this in mind, uh, we can now analyze, uh, we can analyze now what happens uh, in case of the real magnitude, but this, uh, uh, this result also shows that we can speak about uh, uh, wave reconstruction in pure, in pure uh, uh, continuous spectrum. You see, uh, it, is, it was essential for explanation of uh, uh, this pattern to have a quadratic dependence of energy, you know? But here you have continuous spectrum, but still you have uh, wave uh, revival effect. And this was uh, rather surprised, I was, uh, I thought that it will be so seriously uh, deteriorated by the fact that we now have continuous spectrum and I have many states in between those uh, which are which exist in case of the infinite potential. 
uh, well. And it turns out it's not the case. We still see, we still see uh, pay revivals, even in the case of continuous. So probably it is similar, uh, like in uh, uh, classical mechanics, where uh, if your phase space available to your system is finished, then you will definitely see uh, the trajectory will visit arbitrarily small volume uh, of uh, its e from its e it originated back again. So this uh, classical point current. And in the literature, people were skeptical. Should this be possible in case of continuous spectrum? Uh, again, in this back then, it, it was not possible to do this kind of numerical analysis, very detailed. Uh, and uh, I I had calculated here, for instance, 20,000 and more than 20,000 time steps. So imagine back in the 50s when you can barely calculate few, how you can then analyze just cross section here and one cross section. Then it would be possible. So this is very interesting results. So now we are, we are ready uh, to analyze what happens in the case of transmission to the real one. So uh, interesting, we have quantum cartridge, I think. Uh, but I, uh, do you notice that, that its structure is uh, very different uh, from the previous one? I think, what is the meaning of the deal? Sorry? What is the meaning of the deal? You... I mean actual. Uh, I mean or potential. I mean uh, potential used in uh, condensed matter physics. Uh -huh. So no it's model a, anymore. So it's a real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take I take uh, Molière uh, approximation of Thomas Fermi interaction, a uh, positron carbon interaction potential. I put atoms all around to build nanotube and then calculate the resulting potential. And because you have a large number of atoms, resulting potential is axially symmetric, but this is potential which I will use in my uh, analysis of, of interaction ions with matter. So this is okay, not model potential like simpler ones. So uh, I have a good question. Okay, it's actually what what it means to be real. It's a good question. So a uh, potential which I showed you in the first slide. Uh, maybe I should use easier like this. So potential. This case looks something like this. Here is zero, radius of nanotube, minus radius. So what happens when you have narrow wave packet and wide wave packet moving inside? Well, in the first case, in the first case, you have very nice looking uh, part. Well, it looks like, uh, and uh, you can see fractional revival first, then the second, which completely repeats itself. So particles starting here, positive starting here. This is one revival period, and when you zoom inside, you will find many others. But look in this case, uh, I cannot see period at all. This seems to be a period, definitely not fractal. So let's examine it more closely. Let's zoom in close to the wave revivals. Uh, so this is the uh, first fraction revival corresponding to revival length one half. Very nice reconstruction in this case. And what should I observe here? Well, I don't see Gaussian cross section here. And uh, maybe some larger uh, pattern is repeating, like we see in this case, you see, this pattern uh, approximately repeats here and here. And this is case of the one term. Well, uh, it's, it turns out, you can show it, that in this case, uh, class corresponding to modulus one equals it's in position in case of modulus two. So, so they will interfere and create this pattern. And uh, class of states uh, corresponding to module as well will end up here. And this is the reason why you have very well reconstructed point and something which resembles interference. This corresponds to fractional revival one term. And same goes here. You have 
two copies, but which end up in the same place, and then they interfere. So this is what you have. And the same goes for the fifth. Uh, you have, again, classes. Uh, you have one, two here, and two here. It's very easy to explain, and this logic works for all other fractional revivals, which I integrated here. But if I take a look at this pattern here, well, I don't see, I see similar patterns with two, these two diamonds, but they are not repeating regularly. It's rather strange. And uh, here I should see uh, two overlap, but see that I see three, it's very strange. Uh, so no, it's not regular. It seems not to be periodic. It's very difficult from numerical analysis to prove that this is not periodic. And what is it also interesting? Uh, can you remember that when I showed you canonical quantum carpet for, for infinite box, when you move slightly, you see other fractional revivals corresponding to the different uh, uh, fractions nearby one, in this case, one half, or here corresponding to one fifth. Well, they are absent here. And this is really, really uh, uh, strange. So, this is another, actually, I, I, I produce this graph first, but then I was unable to understand it. So, I then created these simpler models, but I cannot. Uh, Tell you story this way, uh, it would be un understandable. So we have a crucial difference in those two cases that this potential is not isochronic. What this means? That means when you analyze classical trajectories, each impact parameter will have its own period. While this is not the case in the simpler model, when you have essentially zero potential inside the well, this means that every classical trajectory will uh, move with the same period. And this helps and explains why uh, you have many more reconstruction than you see here. Uh, so uh, this is very interesting. Uh, and again, uh, very interesting to prove, is this really a periodic properties? Uh, so to be really sure that I am explaining all uh, resolvable patterns, I uh, actually use the same resolution, uh, spatial resolution, uh, I think 15,000 uh, points in X coordinates, uh, like I did uh, to calculate this very fine, very small peaks and a large number of them in case of these simpler models. So that is, uh, these patterns which are absent here, Maybe it's better to, to return it. You see? You see this region here, which is absent in the loop, and these patterns here. See a large of this interference. Because, well, those are the constructions corresponding to other fraction close to one half. And not to measure here. And you, you move only slightly. This is one uh, additional. Uh, which are absent in this case. So uh, it turns out that uh, uh, a harmonicity plays a very significant role. And uh, uh, probably there is more to it that interplay between uh, expansion coefficients and this phase term coming just from exponential energy to prove uh, to. Uh, explain what truly happens and why this pattern changed so drastically uh, when you change initial state. In the first glance, when we analyze this uh, canonical pattern, pattern will actually remain the same. Each period remains the same regardless of the starting, uh, starting position. I mean, don't see this in the, this case. So this is, uh, this is uh, interesting and it's not to be our field working on fully. So uh, what we have done so far, well, we proved that uh, uh, continuous superposition can produce quantum carpet. It's not obvious at the first point. Uh, of course, because of tunneling, you cannot have infinite repetition, uh, an infinite number of full recurrences. Uh, this is also significant because you can use it to analyze coherence loss in uh, more important cases, like in both ancient concept in the case of quantum computing, because when you have, uh, this is essentially moving inside potential level. You want your quantum computer to be quantum 
for as long as you want. This model is simple uh, and can be used, and it is actually proposed to use quantum and wave, uh, wave revival effects to study the coherence. And this is uh, something also interesting. Uh, we have solved the unharmonicity of the magnitude potential significantly uh, influenced this uh, pattern. And I hope that I have shown you that this is something which is cannot always be explained only by the quadratic dependence on energy principal quantum number. Or you can do the same logic with in a standard approach. You will find that uh, energy of resonance states are fit almost perfectly with the uh, uh, quadratic function, uh, quadratic dependence on counting number, counting index of the resonance, uh, differences are totally negligible. But it turns out that this has uh, this uh, small uh, uh, discrepancies can accumulate and produce something which is measurable. Well, usually when I have something which is uh, almost quadratic, it turns out that it is actual approximation, and I don't see this. Kind. So this is perfect system. In, in that regard. Okay, thank you very much. I, I hope that I was able to deliver talking in time, it's not spend too much. Yes, uh, thank you, Marco. Yes, timing is uh, great. So we have uh, still time for questions. Uh, yes, please. Yes, well, thank you for your talk. Uh, just a small question. Um, when you uh, could this uh, harmonicity and uh, aperiodicity uh, could um, you was talking about uh, implementation of such a uh, uh, technique uh, to quantum transfer of quantum information? Uh, Probably. And, and if, we, if we have this uh, aperiodicity, could st we still uh, implement it? Oh, well, you see that we can. Uh, and uh, uh, you need to choose your initial state more carefully uh, than without. But still, what is important in case of, uh, uh, for instance, this is an excellent question. There are uh, suggestions to use quantum carpets for signal processing and for uh, building of wired quantum computer. So, problem with this approach is that it's difficult to reprogram. But you can show that in case of uh, in case of this canonical quantum counter, this one here, if you take this cross section and some called specific cross section, it, you can model it by application of unitary transformation, which correspond to Topol gate or to Hadamard gate or to cetera. Uh, of course, you don't, you don't apply, okay. Uh, you apply it when you, for instance, in this case here, when you have two. You see? What this means is that wave function is actually superposition of two wave magnets. And this melt like uh, an angle. You cannot separate these two into a property. But why are they are not two different particles? They are as if two different particles. Uh, because all positrons are the same. So what is the difference between positron and half and positron? Well, uh, you see, and this is actually idea. So you, you, you start from here. Here you have created uh, entanglement. Then, if you wait and let physics to do processing for you, and you put several effecting mirror here, it is effect of some operation. For instance, in that case, you have collapse. You have neglected one, and this is like correction. And you can play various kind of tricks, and you can if you. Uh, while the quantum computer will have similar effect here, here, there, of course, not, not arbitrary, like I can show it. But then you have it, uh, you guide the, the light with optical fibers, and then you combine them in a specific place. And when you do this, it's equivalent like you do, did Fourier transform uh, in uh, speed of light. <laughs> this would be something. But the problem with this is um, it is difficult to reprogram. You see, but in principle, it works like quantum computer. So, uh, main point is that you should choose your initial state carefully. So, to be in this regime, when you have very nice looking carpet like this one, and not here. So, if you, if for inappropriate choice, you will get 
trunk. Your quantum computer will not work. But for this, it is workable, and maybe not all uh, uh, unitary transformations are, are available. Maybe in real computer, you will not be able to build any combination of uh, logical gates because some revivals are missing here, but it still can be applicable, still can do, but this is something which you need to be checked in detail. Yeah, very much. Uh, I don't know some idea, but I have a question. Not maybe, it's an excellent question. Why not? Uh, are, are you right? Is that uh, um, you're considering a straight, straight uh, management? Yes. What if you kind of a little bit flex it? Uh, this is something which I need to check properly, but the idea is, and you can show it in classical mechanics, that if bent is sufficiently bendable, it will just uh, deport this pattern so it will become bent. And this is the idea behind uh, guidance of beams with the nanotube. So in CERN, you use superconductive magnets of several passes. But, uh, and you cannot build a 20 Tesla. It is out of the question. We need uh, magnetic fields of neutron star or such for 100 Tesla. Um, you cannot do it. But here, if you observe uh, the of trajectory, it is on nanometer scale. And if you go to the uh, coordinate system, which is attached to the proton or to the positron, and you calculate induced magnetic field, Due to the motion, you will see that it's hundreds of tests. So this is the idea behind Siganov. Maybe you heard about it. Great. Uh, I, sorry, I don't. I cannot make distinction between Russian Ukrainian uh, scientist uh, Siganov who proposed to use crystals. Or I think he he worked in car. Yes. No. Okay. Maybe I made a mistake. Uh, to use, for instance, crystals and nanotubes in modern times for guiding solar beams. And there are such experiments conducted in CERN, so they wanted to deflect ion beam using crystals. So imagine how much money you save if you switch off superconductive magnets and heating, etc. And you have idea is to have small cyclotron with when you shoot with the, the one uh, injector uh, line into it, and you have uh, uh cyclotron which can okay you cannot run million of times like, like uh, lhc but maybe sufficiently to perform some experiment with it possible and they are pushing heavily in this direction so this is definitely possible but uh, the platform should be and then should be governed it should be less than cigano amps <laughs> less than 14 <laughs> Okay, do we have any other questions? Uh, perhaps let me ask, uh, so what is uh, experimental status? Can you comment on that? Uh, what was already kind of, shown? if I understood correctly, these are uh, your analytical or numerical Those are numerical, Those are numerical. but in the case uh, of this pattern, well, it was measured many, many times. So for instance, this corresponds to the Gaussian uh, light beam entering uh, optical fiber. And you have uh, standard optical fiber, which has, uh, which was built to have total reflection in this region here, you see, and it has constant, uh, constant uh, uh, reflective index and larger but constant outside. You see, and this was measured, really. So it was measured in many cases, in both Rankin condensates, in many cases, it was measured. But usually, it was measured in this case where you have negligible potential. So it was measured even in, uh, in uh, water. So they, they were able to observe quantum carpets uh, in uh, water veins. They were measured in, in uh, uh, various uh, um, systems, uh, so you can you have radial carpet, uh, angular carpet, but most of the time it was measured in these settings when you have uh, uh, infrared-electric particles. But most essential uh, difference from my analysis that they have neglected anisochronicity of interaction because their their potential was specially built to be isochronous. 
So many experimental, but in case of nano tube, we are still waiting for chemists to build for us sufficiently long, sufficiently trained nano tube. But it doesn't stop our theories to theories about it. But the same logic applies in case of crystals, in case of uh, other nanostructured materials. Uh, problem would be of practical nature. Nanotubes are an uh, excellent choice because they can be wide, you see, and electron cloud is located near the wall. But uh, this means that your particle trapped inside the nanotube will mostly spend time in energy uh, region of low electron density. So that means that you will lose energy less than in case of crystals, even though the same, uh, same theory works for any potential. But this will be more practical to generate these patterns in nanotubes than, than in case of crystals. So this is the reason why we analyze uh, nanotubes. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions? It seems not. So uh, let us thank uh, Marco again. And uh, Marco is uh, here still. So whoever uh, wants to discuss, uh, you have a chance. And I, I believe next week uh, you will give another yes. uh, seminar. So okay. thank you all. It's time.